Barry Holt is Director of Policy and Research at the International Institute of Risk and Safety Management. Barry, as you know, this year UBM has introduced a dedicated loan worker protection area at IFSEC International. Can you tell us why you support this move? I support it personally and on behalf of the IIRSM because as a result of the changing business environment, um, the workforce profile in this country has changed significantly. And we now have a lot more workers who are actually working out of a traditional office or factory environment. And in many of these cases, they are working alone or remotely. Um, figures from the Office of National Statistics indicate that currently we have about 3 million lone workers uh, at any one time here. And it's important that these actually get the same level of protection as any other worker would do and in fact there are differences in the risk profiles of these workers introduced by the environment in which they're working. You were speaking at the show Barry on the subject of protecting the lives of lone workers. What key messages will you be putting forward? Key message for employers will be the fact that uh, the, there's no question of these workers being out of sight, out of mind. There is the same responsibility um, for them to have the tasks assessed and protected and controlled as there would be for any other uh, worker. And it's actually a more difficult situation because there's not the immediate supervision which there would be on um, a worker in a factory. So we still have the same responsibilities uh, but they may be a little bit more difficult to discharge. Um, the uh, onus for the workers themselves is that there is much more um, pressure on them to actually follow the uh, procedures that have been put in place. But they're working in a changing environment which um, may need them to respond to changes uh, while they're actually working. Can you outline for the readers of infosecurity.com the main focus of the International Institute of Risk and Safety Management? The focus of IIRSM, um, while still being um, predominantly a member organisation and providing uh, information and benefits and, uh, for our members, has changed recently. So over the last three years we've had some changes uh, within senior management which have introduced a different vision for the organisation and part of that's actually been realised by um, creating the post of research, policy and research director. Um, we're now involved with organisations like Manchester Business School in uh, various research projects uh, we're producing uh, technical papers which we didn't used to do before. We're still we're now producing regular technical seminars uh, to provide a higher level of information for our members, and that's now become one of our key focuses. Many loan workers, as you mentioned, Barry, are self-employed in this day and age. Does this make a difference to the assessments required for their own situations, perhaps? It may do. Uh, this obviously has arisen from the recent review by Professor Lerfsted, and one of his statements has actually caused uh, a little bit of um, argument within the health and safety profession. And I think to some extent this was misunderstood, in that uh, he's actually suggested that there are tasks which are often carried out by self-employed people who may be working remotely um, where it's unrealistic to ask for a full-blown risk assessment. That's been taken by some uh, people to mean that you can get a self-employed builder go out on a remote site and because he's self-employed there's no hazards. He's actually categorically denied that and so have uh, senior members of HSE. Uh, what he was looking at, uh, which does apply to some loan workers, is for example 
to the example the professor usually quotes, you've got somebody who's uh, working at home and all they're doing is working on a computer, for example, a web designer, a journalist, and he felt that there is no, should be no need for them to do an in-depth risk assessment. But for those that are doing uh, the tradi more traditional jobs, but doing it uh, self-employed, they will still have the same need to carry out risk assessments. The risk landscape is constantly evolving, Barry, of course. On that basis, do we need a fresh look, perhaps, at training to allow for changing circumstances? Um, I think this is very important um, with when we're talking about lone working, because often a lone worker is working in um, an area or carrying out a task under conditions which actually may change um, while the task is actually being carried out. So as well as the traditional sort of uh, health and safety training and skills training that they need to be able to do the job um, safely and correctly, there's also a need to be able to assess the implication of any changes in the environment. So for example, somebody might be working one day uh, in, a, in a field uh, carrying out maintenance work on um, electricity cable. The next day, they may be doing the same task, but they could be doing it in a residential area. And the risks are going to be different. And they may change, actually, as they go on. They have to know how to respond to those and, in fact, do uh, their own risk assessment. Thank you very much indeed, Barry.